Hey, my fit friends, we are back for 17.4, and 17.4 is our repeat workout from last year. For those of you that were here in 2016, you know what this workout entails. For those of you that are gonna be new to it this year, get ready, this is a great one. Now, what we did last year was we had our eight seconds on the Airdyne on the Schwinn bike for five sets. We're gonna do the same thing this year, but we're gonna change our explosive movement. Our explosive movement is actually gonna be focused on a broad to height rather than doing kneeling jumps. So what I'm looking for here is a really strong hip extension in the broad jump and then a really quick turnover with a vertical jump for the height portion of broad to height. So let me write this out for you. So again, we're starting first with our, our uh, Airdyne or Schwinn, right? And we've got eight seconds of work for five rounds, right? So Airdyne, eight seconds of work for five rounds. You know, all the salt bike, Schwinn bike, whatever you got get on and we're pedaling really hard, all out effort for eight seconds. This is a huge central nurse, nervous system um, type of Christmas tree lighting you up situation. These are amazing, I love these. Now you're gonna do the eight seconds of work and then we're gonna go right into our explosive movement being our broads of height. And of course, we're gonna have a double, a single, double setup, so the two, one, two setup. Now, I want you all going all out here. If you need to take a quick breather, less than 30 seconds, before you get into this portion, that's fine. But ideally, I want you to go right from the airdyne directly into your broad to height. On the broad to height, one of the things that we wanna focus on is a very violent hip extension, delaying, holding that hip extension, and then as we come back to land, landing deep in the squat, knees out, arms out in front of us, and then immediately going vertical for our reach portion or our vert portion of the broad to height. Now it's important that we focus on a quick turnover and not fall forward as we go jump up, but rather start to fall backwards as we jump up and that'll keep us directly vertical rather than coming out in front because we don't want to have a lot of travel. We want to have that midline control. So. Airdyne, broad to height. For our doubles, what I would like is a back-to-back -back rep scheme. So with the twos, I want you to do your broad to height, land on the, the height portion, and then immediately go broad to height again, okay? Try to keep as little amount of time between the broad to heights as possible. Then for our single rep, what I'd like you to do, WT stands for weighted. I'd like you to grab two and a half pound plates, five, uh, five pound plates, maybe um, anywhere from one to five pound dumbbells in each hand, maybe eight pounds if you're a stronger individual, but nothing uh, grotesquely heavy. We're gonna put that in each hand. Obviously when you're doing this, don't throw them and let go of them. Uh, face the direction that you are gonna do minimum, minimal damage if that's gonna be the case. Uh, and you do, they do come out from your hands, but you're gonna hold the weights as you go through the motions right, for the broad to height. And on the single, you're just gonna go one broad to height, okay? One of the big things with the broad to height and why I wanna use that this year is because we have a violent hip extension which is really necessary for wall balls, really necessary for the kipping handstand push-ups, right, and we wanna be able to squeeze and press hard through our deadlift and our row, which are very similar. This is a whole lot of lower posterior chain uh, workout, including the handstand push-ups when we're kipping out of them. So we wanna make sure that we have our hips primed, obviously, but we want to be having aggressive, aggressive hip, uh, hip extension, violent hip extension. Um, and then by weighting it, right, all we're doing is we're teaching ourselves more control and uh, creating more power, generating more power under load. The Airdyne, the purpose of the Airdyne here is really to wake the system up. It is to overstimulate or overload the system so that you are more awake. From one of the things we learned from last year is that a lot of individuals, when they got into this workout, it was taking them the first to second movements to really actually get warmed up, even though they did a warm up beforehand. Get on an airdyne, go hard for eight seconds. Watch how quickly you wake up. It's like getting a shot of coffee in your ear and wakes you right the heck up, caffeine right into the system. So this is an awesome way to wake yourself up, get the hips really primed, and to replicate movements being in the bottom of the hole exploding up for the wall ball shot, um, being able to squeeze and really push those hips through on a deadlift, on uh, on the rower, and then of course, B 
being able to curl into a ball and explosively push out of that deep position in a kipping handstand push-up. So this is our x wad. Good luck to you all. And as always, be smart, be efficient, and be explosive. We'll see you for 17.5. Peace!